Susan Boyle became an international superstar after her breathtaking audition on Britain's Got Talent back in 2009. But the question is, what's Susan been up to since becoming a household name? And now that she has over $33 million in the bank, more money than she can ever spend, is she even keen to step back into the spotlight? But before we jump into our list, please be sure to ring the bell to subscribe to our channel and be notified for all our new videos. Now, let's jump in. Family drama and heartbreak. Susan's family have had a direct impact on her singing career. Her mother and father were Irish immigrants that Susan was very, very close to. Although Susan's dad worked as a minor, it's clear that her musical talents came from him because he was also a talented singer, nearly making it as professional. When he died, Susan was understandably very upset, and it was a further blow when one of her sisters died shortly after from a totally preventable asthma attack. These two deaths back to back of her father and her sister caused Susan to really focus on her music, suddenly realizing that life was too short. Susan's mum was always very encouraging of her singing, and it was thanks to her mum's support that Susan actually auditioned for another talent show prior to Britain's Got Talent. Unfortunately, as you can see from this super rare footage that was never aired on TV at the time, the presenter of the show, Michael Barrymore, did his very best to distract Susan, and sadly on this occasion, her talents went unnoticed and she never made it through to the next round. And then, shortly after this clip was filmed, tragedy hit. Her mum died and the death really hit Susan hard. So hard, in fact, that she didn't sing for nearly two years. You really got a feel for her. So many deaths to deal with couldn't have been easy and it took Susan a long time to get back to her singing. But this closeness to her family and how death could both focus her when her sister and dad died, but also derail her when her mum died, gives us a sense as to how difficult it can be for Susan to deal with heartbreak and separate her professional from her personal life. The same thing also happened after becoming famous. When her sister Birdie died unexpectedly of cancer, this again hit Susan hard. Birdie was the sister that Subo was closest to. She was the one that kept her feet on the ground, telling her if she was ever getting carried away. So you can imagine how, again, this death was very difficult for Susan, and it actually led to her postponing an album that she was working on. But aside from death, her newfound fame has also led to other issues with family members. For instance, her brother allegedly threatened to kill himself if Susan didn't give him £50,000. When other family members found out about these demands, this caused massive arguments and huge friction between the family, resulting in Susan disowning her brother and not speaking to him again for many years afterwards. So, as you can see, all of these family issues have certainly played a part in Susan's career and why she now prefers to keep a much more low-key profile. Mental health problems. At birth, Susan was deprived of oxygen. This led doctors diagnosing her as partially brain damaged, a label she'd been burdened with for most of her life. She was constantly bullied at school and made fun of for supposedly being slow, and it was sadly no surprise that she left school with very few qualifications. The thing was, she wasn't actually brain damaged. It was only after Britain's Got Talent that she was correctly diagnosed with having Asperger's syndrome, a form of autism that commonly results in impaired social skills. This actually explains a lot as to Susan's extremely shy nature and the performance anxiety she gets. It's actually really sad she wasn't properly diagnosed much sooner. It turns out, far from being slow or stupid, Susan actually has an above average IQ. However, due to the Asperger's, she finds new social situations and stress really hard to deal with. For example, after losing the final of Britain's Got Talent, Subo had an emotional breakdown in the hotel that led the show's producers to contact police and Susan was actually detained under the Mental Health Act and admitted into a private clinic to rest and take time off. The questions surrounding her mental well-being and stress caused by the show actually resulted in the British Prime Minister at the time expressing concerns, with many questioning whether contestants should be psychologically evaluated before going on to the show. Now that she knows she has Asperger's, Susan's been able to deal with the situations much better. However, that's not to say that she's totally fine, and there have been a number of other episodes, including a breakdown at an airport, again leading to her being detained and hospitalised. Susan herself has said, I haven't performed live because I've been ill. The short answer is that it's been connected to my Asperger's syndrome. 
None of this has been helped by the way the media has publicly assassinated her and covered these incidents. And you've got to remember that for a woman with anxiety and social disorders, someone who's lived her entire life in a tiny village, all of this must have been extremely terrifying. It's totally understandable how this pressure has caused her to reduce her workload and in many ways this actually makes her achievements even more remarkable. Health, love and laughter. In recent years, Susan has lost a lot of weight. This was caused by doctors warning her that she needed to slim down after being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, a condition that can damage nerves, kidneys, cause blindness and greatly increases the risk of heart disease, stroke and high blood pressure. This led Susan to cutting out chocolates and cakes and taking up walking as a form of exercise. Understandably, with her health and potentially her life on the line, this took priority over singing and her career took a back seat. But the weight loss also brought with it some unintended consequences that have also distracted her from work. You see, aside from one brief boyfriend when she was younger that her dad had to put an end to because he didn't feel that she was ready for a relationship, Susan has been single her whole life. In fact, she famously revealed before her first audition, no, At the moment I live in Moline with my cat called Pebbles, but I've never been married. <clears throat> Never been kissed. Oh, shame. <laughs> but with her new physique and the extra confidence that came with it, aged 53, Susan began her first real romantic relationship with a doctor from America. She admits that it's taken her a long time to feel more comfortable in her own skin. But now that she's there, she's devoting more time to relationships and is even keen to foster a child and have her own family. And as far as interests and hobbies go, Susan keeps herself very busy. She's learning to play the piano, she loves going to the theater, and her faith is also very important to her. And she still attends and helps out at her local church. She's got a number of things on her bucket list that she wants to do too, including getting a driver's license, because at the moment she can't drive, learning how to ride a bicycle, which she never did as a kid, getting a pilot's license, and also buying a horse. That's a lot to keep her occupied. Guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more great content. Old habits die hard. We've all heard of diva pop stars in their outrageous ways. Madonna, for example, who Susan is actually a huge fan of, is one of the biggest divas ever. And you know, she has some crazy demands when it comes to accommodation or performances, but Susan couldn't be further away from that. Not only does she shy away from the media limelight, she's also very much a creature of habit. For example, despite buying a big new house, she prefers to live in the tiny council house she grew up in, and she lets her niece stay in the new house instead. Even after teenage bullies attacked her and threw stones at her, Susan refuses to change her ways just because of her fame, and still to this day, she continues to use public transport and shops in her local supermarket. She also maintains a very tight social circle that's pretty much stayed the same since before her music career. Her friends and her family mean a lot to her, and there's been many reports of Susan actually helping them out financially, including paying off their mortgages and paying off their debts for them. With all this in mind, and given that we know her Asperger's means that she can find new situations stressful, this explains why, even with her fame and fortune, Susan doesn't want to change her lifestyle, and she prefers to live an ordinary life instead of the high-profile life of a pop star. No need to work anymore. Susan's career has been tremendously successful, both in terms of accolades and awards, but also in terms of finances. Her first album was a top-selling album worldwide the year it was released, and in total, she's sold over 25 million albums, been number one in 40 countries, and has had two Grammy nominations. With a net worth in excess of $33 million, the truth is, Susan never needs to work another day in her life. Even still, it seems she isn't quite ready to quit music just yet. Whilst understandably she doesn't have the same drive and impetus as back in the day when she was struggling financially and she couldn't even pay her bills, she does still occasionally make TV appearances like America's Got Talent The Champions in 2019 for example. She's still working on music too and her most recent album entitled 10 was released in June 2019. The problem is most of her recent music hasn't done very well. The album 10 for example charted in 49th position and only stayed in the charts for a week. Prior to that, her most recent single was the song Secret Garden, which didn't even hit the charts at all. So whilst her talent is undeniable, it may well be that Subo has just lost her edge. Time will tell. Let us know in the comments below. Do you think Susan will ever make a comeback? If you enjoyed this video as much as we have, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more great content. Thanks for watching guys.